Hi, this is Cindy with Cindy Duncan Arts, and I'm getting ready to have kind of a little play date with a friend, and so we're going to create some art today. I'm uh, inspired by a man named Dan Terrells, T-I-R-E-L-S, on YouTube. Uh, he does a lot of mono printing using um, basically stuff he has around the house, hence the bag full of uh, plastic bags. So <clears throat> at any rate, I hope you'll join me and enjoy. I'm taking a plastic bag, like a shopping bag, and I am just cutting it so that I can open it out. I've never done this, be well, that's not true. I've done mono printing quite a number of times, um, usually using jelly plates. I have used some other things to do mono printing, but I've never done it this way before. And like I said, I was inspired by D uh, Dan Terrell's. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, my friend has yet to join me via Zoom, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And he does it both ways, both with acrylic paints and with um, oil paints. Oils take quite a bit longer to dry, so I'm thinking of doing the acrylics to start with and see how that goes. Doing mono printing with a plastic bag, huh? Uh -huh. Are you using stencils and stuff? And Am I using what? Stencils? I don't have any stencils with me, but I might tear up some paper. The guy that I, like I said, that inspired me, he uses um, stencils, but he basically just tears things up. He's very abstract. Oh, cool. And okay. um, just puts things down. But I'm kind of, I want to give my, um, excuse me, I want to give a border on these. So I'm going to put masking tape down. Okay. I need to get it finished and I'm such a perfectionist that it's like I spend two hours and get like a two inch space done and it's still not the way I want it to be you know it's like oh, yeah. if I don't finish it I'm not going to come back to it and then as the weather gets you're nicer working, go ahead you're still working on oils right yeah yeah and then when the weather gets nicer uh, warmer that is I want to um paint the outside of the house. Did you feel anything from that storm that rolled through last night? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> she said there was a tornado warning in Medina, but I did not see that. And I have the WKYC app on my phone, so I should have if it was, you know, it should have notified me. And Alexa yeah. usually notifies us if there's something... So. Tornado touched down in Medina, and then I watched it for a while, and I actually did go into the... So there was a... Tour. See, I never got... Yeah. We never heard the warning for Medina, which that unnerves me a little bit. But anyway, go on. It was not... Yeah, I never made it over to... By the time the storm got to Summit County, we were okay. But yeah, I... Our dog gets freaked out by storms big time, so he didn't know what to do with himself. Hmm. It's like Honey Boo Boo all yeah. over again on steroids. I don't yeah. like to watch that kind of stuff. I, I have no interest in that stuff. Yeah, that just... Uh, that's your loss. I don't want to see them mistreating the animals either. That just would make me crazy. They don't. They don't? They, no. Mm -mm. If anything, they're making a case for how they don't.
it did come off real easy. They say, how did it work? Hey, those are cool. Oh, I like those. Yeah, the inside is, is the size of our index card. So I might actually send them like this. And then whoever gets them can cut it down if they're keeping them in something or or they can keep it like that with the border on it. Um, that's a real different color scheme for you. Yeah, well, it's what I had here, so I wasn't going to mix colors. <laughs> Would have been the same way with the oil paint, although I'm a little more adept at mixing colors with oil paint, so I could have mixed up something that I, something yeah. interesting. But it is funny, if I if I go off the reservation and I do do different colors, these are, it's funny that you said that these are different colors for me. This, I have a lot of artwork in red, yellow, and black. <laughs> it, yeah, if I go off the reservation, yeah. that's what I wind up doing. It's like, <laughs> we all have our thing. Because isn't it Kara that yeah. says that she always goes and does blue? Like everything yeah. has to have blue. <laughs> yep. But the funny, interesting thing about these is that it, um, while I did hit, I was inspired by his technique of putting it on the plastic and doing it. Yeah. This really is like, unless I was sitting here watching a video step by step of what he did, this goes back into my wheelhouse. Like, this is what I, you know what I'm saying? We all have our own things that we do. So, like, this is stuff that I normally do, you know? Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I can't I can't see his stuff in here at all. <laughs> and I might have to do it someday just to see. Because I think I'm going to leave that there and not, not set up two more. Because the outside is calling me, especially since I know that it's going to be 40 degrees tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, there's snow in the forecast. No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> it's insulting. Well, it's April. What do you want? I want fifty upper 50s and lower 60s with a few <laughs> 70s thrown in. That's what I want. What I want. Well, this was fun, Karen. I'm glad you were able to join yeah. me. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. You know. Well, that's a kind of the fun thing about Zoom, too, is that, you know, under normal circumstances, like, I'd say, hey, you want to do art? And it's like, oh, well, because you, you got to pack everything up. You got to, you know, I mean, you're not going to do that. But since, you know, just to hang out you know, in our own places with our own stuff, yeah. it just, it's, yeah, it's pretty easy. It is. You know, I would never do it by phone, but you're right. To pack all this stuff up and schlep it someplace. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. Yeah. And like I said, I think I'm enjoying my the aerobics class online because, one, if people, I mean, even if I have my camera unblocked, nobody's watching me. They're watching the instructor, you yeah. know? And now, you know, I'm no shrinking violet, so it's not so much that. It's just that, like, I have, I'm not in shape at all anymore, so 90% of what she does, I don't do the way she does it. Plus, I have to always modify things for my back anyway, and then I kind of always feel a little goofy because I'm not doing it the right way. Yeah. Um, so that's nice that I don't have to um, worry about that. And then, too, I just, you know, it can fit into my schedule better because I don't have, you know, I can join. I can roll out of bed at 9.15 and be in class at 9.30, <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's none of that travel time. Same thing, none of that travel time. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to get there early and, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's always, it was always a production. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go put my shoes on and... Take off my ratty old paint shirt and <laughs> go walk around the neighborhood. Sure? I didn't know if I was going to use oils or not. And when I use oils, I have a tendency to get it everywhere, and it's harder to get out of things. So, again, yeah. I'm like, I've just put on, put on a paint smock. So, anyway, well, thanks. All right. It'll be fun. Yeah, thanks. Good. Okay. Glad you could join me. <laughs> have a good yeah. day, Karen. <laughs> you too. I'll see you later. All right. Now, and Bye. All right. Bye. 
So that was fun, I um, getting together with my friend. Let me show you what I finished. I showed you a little bit, but let's give you more of a close up. And again, this was using the mono printing technique that Dan Terrell uses on his YouTube channel. And if I can remember, I will link it below, but that's <laughs> not always, doesn't always happen the way I say. I don't know if I caught it on video or not, but when I, it's funny, I while I used his um, technique of putting the paint on plastic bags before putting them down, none of the rest of this looks anything like the stuff that he does. So it's funny how our own natural um, artistic proclivities seem to come out even when we're using other people's um, techniques or, you know, whatever. So it was fascinating. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you're all staying safe and staying well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.